Okay, so here we are at Eastern Road. This is going to be the new Procter and Stevenson offices in the in the courtyard of what is in fact an old print works, and which seemed entirely appropriate to us because um, we are in fact a you know a design a marketing company, and so we were looking for a, a space that we could make our own that would be slightly different, unusual. So what you see here now is two really big skips. We're just two weeks in clearing the building. This will be our main entrance. And we've also taken an inventory of all the things that we're actually managing to recycle because that's part of our environmental credentials. Literally two or three days ago, this whole area was divided up into, into rooms. And what we recognised when we first came round and saw this building, it could be opened right up. I'm going to ex expose this big working area, which will include um, digital account management and design. We have these big skylights, which we're going to keep. We've got a lot of brickwork, which we want to expose. What we're doing as we, we go through the project is recording what we're doing so that people will be able to see the process. We've knocked down lots of the partitions. We've still got to knock down some of the walls. What I'd like to do is I'm going to take you through and just show you some of the, the sort of space that we've got here. This will be joined up with what the area we've just walked through. This will have design and account management in here, but there'll be meeting areas, meeting pods, there'll be a stage. So what we're going to do is create a tunnel, actually it's going to go through this wall, but we're going to go through what is the existing door now. We'll have an area uh, where staff come through, we'll have uh, spaces for 20 up to 24 bikes, um, we'll have drying area, we'll have showers, and also very fortunately, we've got this, um, this area in here, which is, uh, which is our canteen um, and will be a really great facility for staff and also so we can entertain clients and so forth. When we actually took over the building, we bought the building, it was actually being used as uh, workshops and we've kept some of the old sewing machines because we want to kind of show and record the history of the building because it's all part of the, the interest of um, this new environment which we're coming into. Downstairs will be areas that either we'll use or will be rented out. And so what we've got is quite a lot of different uh, rooms down here. A lot of these walls will be coming down, but we've got some really big uh, spaces which we're going to knock through and create um, larger uh, office areas. And what's also quite fun about the building is because it was an old factory, we've got uh, you know, little things like this where people used to come and sign in and uh, dock in. And if you come in here, things like the old barber's, old barber's chairs. And uh, I decided to keep the massage table that's in here. When things get too stressful, <laughs> I can have a massage. So we're going to move now up, upstairs. This will all be opened out a not only uh, meeting rooms but also quiet working areas um, but also an auditorium so that we can hold events. As we go through here um, this will become the main uh, meeting room, there will be another one beside it. Um, we will have a, a small photography studio, um, there will be a storeroom, there will be another meeting room and what's quite nice about it is that um, we actually have internal windows looking down on the cafe so that at all times everybody is sort of connected. What we're trying to do is to create a, a space that works um, and is an environment that we can be proud of. I think that it will change the atmosphere of the business in a very positive way. I think it will create a, a very different impression for people who come and visit us. It's enabling us to make a, uh, make a statement. 
And also, you know, we're moving only a mile away from where we are at the moment, but we're moving into an area that is up and coming, that needs um, investment, um, and we want to be a positive contrib contributor to our community. And I think, again, this building will allow us and give us the facilities to be able to do that.